Today, I'm going to be talking about the five things that you need to do before you publish your book. This goes for traditionally published authors as well as self-published authors like myself. So whether or not you're self-publishing, you are going to be doing the majority of the marketing yourself. So these steps are the steps that you should take before you even think about publishing your book. Obviously, I'm going to stay away from topics such as write the book, draw your illustrations. Obviously, those are the things you need to do. If you don't have a book, you can't sell a book. Number one, make an author's website. You have to have a website as an author. 100%, no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You need a website because you need a place for all of your followers as well as new people to come to and see where you are, what you do, and how to contact you if they have any questions or maybe they like you and want to schedule events. So make a website. It doesn't have to be a really fancy website. I use the free version of my Wix site. I have a limited budget and I want to put my money towards promotional materials such as giveaways and stuff like that. No shame in having a free version of a website as long as in the future when you're able to, you can pay for the whole domain. Number two, social media is your best friend. You need to be on social media. Social media is one of the most important free tools that you can use. People want to know who you are. They want to know who's the face behind the book. The most success that I've seen uh, is from utilizing social media that your audience tends to frequent. And in order to find out where they frequent, you need to use tip number three, research. Do as much research as you possibly can. You need to know who your audience is. Narrow it down. I'm a kid's book author and I had to get even smaller with my targeted audience because kids are anything under the age of 18. And I write picture books. I don't think a 17 year old is gonna wanna read a picture book. Not only that, but I have to market to the parents as well. If the parents don't like the book, they're not gonna buy it for their kids. If they don't like me, they're probably not gonna buy my work. So do your research, find out where your audience frequents, find out what they like to see, look into the kinds of books that are related to your book and see why they're popular or why they failed. There's never too much research that can be done especially when you are not an established author. I forgot what tip number four is. I'm resting my camera on my notebook with all of my information and it's on the wrong page. So I can't even look over and see. What is number four? Oh my God. And that leads us into number four. You need a launch team. What is a launch team? It's people that are dedicated to promoting you and your first book or your second or your third, you still need a launch team. And what these people do is pretty much whatever you ask them to, be it they're willing, you don't wanna be weird about it. The kinds of things that I'm planning for my launch team is to give each person in my team a copy of my book, and I'm gonna ask them to read it, review it, and share it with their friends on their social media. The best thing you can do for yourself is to get other people interested. And what better way to get people interested in you than giving them free things? They're definitely more likely to return the favor and give some free feedback as well as promote your book. My launch team is probably going to consist of my friends and my family, and that's totally fine. They would probably be willing to share their reviews anyway. But the, what you really want is for them to post online the review where they bought it. So my book is going to be posted on Amazon. I want my Amazon page to have good reviews for my book. So obviously, if they don't review it, it's not going to show up. And when I make a purchase, I always look at the reviews first, especially when it comes to books. If it's got a bad review or none at all, I'm probably not going to pick it out. Now it's time for number five. Don't be too hard on yourself, but don't be lazy. You don't wanna stretch yourself too thin when it comes to all of this because marketing is gonna be the hardest part of writing and publishing your book. 
Writing it might have been a little difficult. And if you're an illustrator, that's time consuming too. But marketing should be the very first thing you think about and continue to do even after your book has already been published. With that said, obviously you don't want to bite off more than you can chew. You don't need to have 10 social media accounts dedicated to promoting your book. You should probably only pick about three that you can really put yourself into. Personally, I use YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook, as well as my website, and that's enough for me. That's as much as I can handle. And I'm not lazy. I work so much, especially with everything going on in the world. I'm throwing myself fully into this. That way, if something like this ever happens again, I at least have something to fall back on. And honestly, this is a career that I want. So if it's something that you want, you need to work for it. Just like any other job, put yourself into it because if you care, it's going to show in your work. All right, well, that is all for my five tips for before you publish your book, and I hope you follow them. A lot of these are pretty mandatory. So take with that what you will. If you have any questions, just shoot me a comment or a message. And if you want a free copy of When I Go to Sleep ebook, be sure to go to the link below to my website, subscribe to my newsletter, and check your email. Thanks for watching.